Well, you're going to want to pull out your red, white, and blue if you haven't already. The Valley Today's Abby Furchner is live from Bonanzaville this morning where they're having their Independence Day celebration. And she joins us live with what we can expect out there. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Jordan. We are here at Bonanzaville and we are going to be getting a live demonstration here. I am here with Alan and let's walk us through the demonstration you're going to be giving today to celebrate the 4th of July. Okay, we're, I'm with Minnesota Infantry 5th Regiment from the Civil War and what we're going to be doing today is demonstrating infantry firing with our muskets and we also have an artillery piece which weather permitting wow. we will be firing later during the day and what I'm gonna do is demonstrate the nine-step process for loading and firing an 1842 musket okay so let's kind of go through that process we might not have time to go through everything but what's that first step well the first step is to get the order from the officer that says load <laughs> so the officer would say load and at that You'd bring your and you would start the procedure. So for loading, then the first thing you're gonna do is reach behind you to your cartridge box and you're gonna pull the paper cartridge out. Okay. And then this is where it's important to have two front teeth, because with two front teeth, you have to rip the cartridge. Oh my goodness. And then dump the back dump the powder down the barrel. This takes some time, doesn't it? Yes, that's why a good infantryman would be able to get off, if they were lucky, three shots a minute. Oh my goodness. Yes. So now that this is loaded, you would take your ramrod out and you would ram the cart, ram it down. Oh my gosh. And return the cartridge. And because it's loaded now, you be, have to be more careful and bring it down like that. Okay. Then you bring the gun into position, pull it back to half cock. This is the safety position and get your cap out from your cap pouch. Wow. I didn't realize how many steps there were to this. It, it's quite involved. You put your cap on and you hold it like this and you bring it to the position of shoulder arm. All right, we have to wrap up though. We're kind of running out of time. I know it's a really long process, but this is just one of the demonstrations you'll be able to see when you come out to Bonan Bonanzaville for their 4th of July celebration today. All right, Abby, thank you very much. More pet